Hey guys, this is Dylan Loves God. Um, back with an unusual kind of video for today. So, me and my friends, we have this satisfactory server set up, and we had it set up for around a week now because of um, we get really got into it. And so, we were playing, and then today 1.1 drops. Well, we update the server, and we all update our clients, and we're not able to join. And we were curious as to why. So, we began looking and um, we discovered that Satisfactory 1.1 needs two ports to host. Well, if you're anything like me, you're hosting with playit.gg because you're not able to access your router settings. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to host it with playit.gg and still be able to join from anywhere and without having to use something like zero tier because nobody likes zero tier, it's a lot. So, what we're gonna do is go to playit.gg, log in, go to, your, uh, go to your agents, click on the agent you want, and then click add tunnel, global anycast, TCP, UDP, yes, I will not host malware, set it to TCP, UDP, and then port count, make sure this is two. This is the most important one. Anything else, if you don't remember anything else, make sure this is two. Now click Add Tunnel. I'm not going to because I've already got one set up. So now if we look at how mine is set up, if we go to this website, it says Port Count 2. If you're like me, you were looking f where to put these ports in because you read online that it said 7777 and 8888. That is not how the ports work on this. So what you're going to want to do is open your satisfactory server folder. You'll want to right click in an open space, click new, and click text document. Now in this text document, you'll want to type in start and then your satisfactory like directory and the exe. And then you'll do, actually instead of, instead of describing this, I'll just show it to you. This is mine that I've set up. This is start the directory plus the exe at the end. And then dash port equals, we go to playit.gg, it's this port. And then we come back and then dash reliable port equals this plus one. So if it was 20025, it'll be 20026. Or if you have like 20,487, it'll be 20,488. So it's whatever this one is plus one. And then you can just hit save. And then if yours is still a text document like this, you'll want to right click, click rename, and then at the end of it, change this to .bat. It, you can name it whatever you want. It doesn't have to be new text document. But I name mine to start.bat. And now, whenever you want to launch the server, you'll have to right click or left click first, then right click and run as administrator. And now, whenever you try to join from your client PCs, it should work. If it doesn't work, message me in the comments and I'll look into it. But yeah, this worked for me. I hope it works for you. Y'all have a good day and God bless.